What kind of things has been most difficult to communicate with your daughter? And how did you overcome those problems together? We're very grateful that our dad is easy to talk to. And he's like reasonable. So that's one of the reasons why it's easy to communicate with him. In the same position as Claire, I guess. Like it's always been easy to communicate with my dad about like what we want and what he wants. And because he's so willing to compromise for us, we're more willing to compromise for him. Within the range of reasonable, or if it's like incredibly unreasonable, if it's something unreasonable and I ask for it and he says no, then I'll know like it, it's unreasonable and I shouldn't, I shouldn't bother asking again. Both my parents have been more relaxed about like us going out or staying out later. So our curfew basically is like, as we grow up, it's like pushed farther back. And that's one of the things that's easy for us to come. But like, yeah. we still had to negotiate for that curfew. Yeah. <laughs> like, they didn't just let us have it. No, we had to like communicate with them. Yeah. We had to negotiate. We had to make our own points. For example, like in seventh grade, our curfew was like 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. and that's actually like pretty early. Like compared to now, like I can come home at like 2 a.m. Like, we're all grown up. And on top of that, Taiwan's like actually a really safe country. Yes. Mm. Like even if we were just to go out alone, at, the odds of us getting like harmed or attacked are like super low. And I feel like like they're reasonable enough to understand that, and they like they understand that we've also grown up in the process of like ninth grade to twelfth grade to now college, and it's nice that they understand that, and they don't view us as like middle schoolers anymore. Just for myself.